welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to decorate our house for Halloween. So when this video goes up, it'll be two weeks and a day until Halloween. So I thought it was a good time to put the decorations up now to enjoy them for like a couple of weeks. I've got quite a few of the decorations here behind me and I haven't really bought much new this year apart from one little ornament. A lot of the decorations are still at my parents' house because over the years we've had like various Halloween parties and I have collected some really good like decorations, but some of them are huge and I just haven't got the storage here to be able to bring them. So I've just picked a few of the bits out that I feel like all look nice and I'll be able to keep in our loft. I do love like the neutral theme everyone's going for this year but because I felt like I already had so many decorations I didn't want to buy any more but I feel like it's time to get into the spirit of it and I'm going to do a little buffet on the Saturday before Halloween so I just want some of the decorations up and um, because you get busy during the week with work and other things I just thought if I do it now then that's one thing out the way that's done all the decorations will be ready for when I do my little buffet. So I might film that and do another video or I could do a short so I add the clips to the end of this one I'll see but yes there's a few things I need to dust as well so I might do a bit of a clean and decorate with me and I hope you enjoy it and if you do like this video I would love if you would give it a big like and I would love for you to consider subscribing if you haven't already let's get into decorating also if there's any other Halloween or autumn related content you would like to see I would love to know and have the ideas and I was planning to wear something a bit more like cozy and autumn feel but it's randomly warm this weekend so yeah just throwing on a t-shirt I guess I better crack on so I have got quite a few large decorations especially this one over here I love this little guy this used to light up but the light doesn't work anymore but I was thinking maybe I could feed some fairy lights like through his eyes or something but he's just like a really cool decoration from home sense a few years ago this doll always goes down really well at parties she is a super creepy Yeah, so she's motion censored, but people always love her, but she's not obviously like the most aesthetically pleasing decoration. So I think I will put her either like near the front window for like when the kids are trick-or-treating. She'll look really cool. She's also lasted so well. She was from B&M a few years ago as well. And she's been thrown around and carried and danced with at parties. In the bin bag, I've got a few like outdoorsy bits, which I'll get out in a minute. Also, how cute is this pumpkin bag? It says Hello Pumpkin on the bottom. I think it was from Tesco. James actually picked it up for me. But very cute for autumn. And um, we've got the gravestone as well. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but like the little picture thing changes from a woman to a skeleton when you move either side. And it's super heavy. That was from Home Sense again a couple of years ago. And I've also got another gravestone, which is like quite a lot bigger than this one. But I didn't bring that because it was a bit too big and heavy. So I think that's going to go outside for the trick treaters this guy is one of like my all-time favorites this was from costco so i did pay a little bit more for him but i love him but again like really good quality he's heavy his eyes light up and change color he just looks really cool on the side and i've kept him in his box all the time so yeah i'm gonna get him out and find a little place for him oh my gosh it is super sunny today which is quite good for filming it's not giving me the autumn halloween vibes i got a new wreath recently as well from home sense my mum's got a Halloween wreath, but obviously I couldn't take her wreath from the door. It's this one. It's just got boo on the top of it and then all the little pumpkins, which I really liked. And that was $17.99 from Home Sense, which I thought was a really good price, actually, because I've seen some in the range of Maslan for more than that. So I feel like it's a bit too early at the beginning of October to put this out because it is very, I'd say, Halloween-related rather than autumn. So maybe something a bit more subtle for the majority of the month and then this one for, like, the week of Halloween. But yeah, really like that. The boo is, like, an orange glitter. And then I loved all this bit at the bottom and the pumpkins. But I think the door hook might be in the loft with the Christmas stuff so I might need to buy another one or find that one. By the time this video goes up like there's Christmas stuff all in the shops now because I feel like the Halloween and autumn decorations come out in like August I tend to find. Home sense definitely start August and September and then a little bit of October and then I'm sure 12th of October M&S announced like their whole Christmas range would be out so you definitely got to get a bit ahead. Costco are also like their things are out in August. I might put some clips in this video some pictures of a few like the decorations that we've had in the past that I probably won't be getting out this year just so you can see some of them but yeah for me I think Costco they tend to have like not the biggest selection but I feel like what they do have is really good quality and it just looks very American and like really cool and then Home Sense and TK Maxx are also really good e and and Home Bargains as well for like the smaller things and the range also have like a really good selection usually a lot of like blow up inflatables things like that and then if you want to get crafty hobby craft or like paper mache pumpkins that you can paint I feel like I've talked a lot now oh I just need to empty the bags that I've got as well so I can see what I've got and think about what I'm going to put where. Oh, 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 
then I've got at the minute one last of design spring a few more bits from home when I say home I mean like my family home and so these two big pumpkins I absolutely love they were both from home sense as well like really nice quality ones this is the main man over here from Costco I'll try and light them all up tonight and add candles to everything and then adding some clips at the end of like what it looks like when it's dark these bits which are a bit more gross looking like the foot the hand I always think they look quite good like in between a buffet and the plates and things as if it's like grabbing food out of the bowl and they look really realistic this is like super gross looking but it comes on like a string so i'm gonna hang that outside the stack of three skeleton heads there lights up as well around here this skeleton head i think that might have been from asda years ago i always put the sweets and chocolate in there because it's got quite a deep bowl in its head so that's really cool like when you're handing them out to kids or again like if you're doing a buffet or a dinner you can have it on the table with food in and then all the little smaller tea light holders and things i think most of these are from like b&m and home bargains a couple of years ago these two little ones super cute they were from john lewis like little christmas tree decorations i'm just gonna hang those somewhere these little skeleton heads again are great to, like go on a table i've got a halloween bunting this is happy halloween these are like the paper fans when you open them they look really cool and you can hang them on the wall and things i've got a few different colored ones of those and then at the back i've got my wreath i've got this little sign that you can stick in the grass or in stones or even in like a plant pot it says which way for treats i've got a few napkins from previous years that we haven't used they're just like smaller ones but like cute and handy some tea lights and then this little guy as well it just has a little sign that says boo and i've actually got a happy halloween like doormat under there it has been a bit like folded up and creased so hopefully that will look okay once it's out so yeah that is everything i think this is about the third time that i thought okay let's actually get decorating now but i've just been talking through them instead hopefully you like the little haul well it's not haul because i haven't bought anything recently show of the decorations but i am going to get them up now <laughs> This was one of the new additions that I bought this year. This little pumpkin. It's really cute. It's like a white heart pumpkin. It's got little like brown speckles on it. This is probably more the theme I would go for originally for like end of September, beginning of October. It's more of a subtle decoration than like the bright orange pumpkins. But I thought that was really cute. That was from a shop in Altrincham if you're in the Manchester area called Homebird. I think there's one in Wilmslow as well. Lovely like home decor shop. So in the kitchen on the windowsill, I've put one of the larger pumpkins. I actually thought it'd be too big to go there, but the windowsill must be bigger than I thought. So it actually looks okay there. I just had this little wax melt candle holder there before, but I think it looks good there. And then in the other corner, I've just put one of the smaller like tea light pumpkins. And I think he looks cute there as well.
So I've emptied the chocolates into the head of the skeleton just to get organized. I still need to buy a few more sweets and things. When I do this, it doesn't usually last very long in the house. So I will put him upstairs. I'm still deciding where my main man's gonna go. Star of the show with his light up eyes. But I actually think when I do my buffet, I usually clear the countertops and have all the food out on the side. And I think he'll look nice like in the corner behind the food with his eyes glowing. And the same with all these other little bits. So I'll usually just dot these between like the plates and bowls, like the hand, something like this. I've got my napkins and these little tea lights which light up like this. So these bits I've kind of gathered here because these are the outdoor decorations so I haven't yet put those up. I might wait a couple of days to a week or so and I also need to buy a hook for the wreath to go on the door because I think the Christmas one that we use might be in the loft and the little ghost with the three pumpkins I'm actually going to keep there next to the TV because I think he looks quite cute there when we sit and watch TV at night and he can be looking at us I'm going to try and light them up inside so once I've got all my decorations up outside at the front I might do a little mini video or a short just to show you what that looks like and that is the house pretty much decorated for Halloween apart from the outdoor bits like I said the happy Halloween bunting I've not put up yet I just need the help of James to put that up but I was either thinking over like this mirror or behind the TV but I think I'm going to go behind the TV because I'm sure I've got some like fairy lights that I could put up like dangling over the mirror which I think will look cute. So I was looking at some on Amazon the other day like these little glass pumpkins and then I'm sure I've got a bag in my mum and dad's loft with like loads of lights in. Actually I know I have so I need to find those and get them out because I always think the lights like give it that extra bit of cosiness. Yeah if you love Halloween and this sort of content if you don't follow Turtle Creek Lane on Instagram you need to go and follow her because her house is incredible and for every like season there is anything you can think of she always goes like well over the top but her Halloween and Christmas displays are incredible as well as like Easter and Valentine's. I think she lives in Texas somewhere and yet her house is huge. If I had that storage oh my gosh the decorations you could keep. That's just reminding me to go on and see what sort of decorations she's been putting up recently because she starts like months in advance because she puts so much up. I hope you enjoyed this video when it got you into the Halloween spirit. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video on Monday at 7. Bye guys!